be talking a little bit about Black Mountain College and Ruth Asawa, her time there, and some of the people that she learned from while she was there. This college was open in 1933, so a long time ago. It's not still open. Nobody's studying there anymore, but we can still learn from it. Um, she was there 1946, so about halfway through the time that the college was open. They were open for 24 years. And Albert Einstein was actually on the advisory board, which is pretty cool. Um, we all know who Albert Einstein is. Not everybody knows about Black Mountain College, but it's kind of cool to know that this man, you know, had an impact and worked at the school that's not too far away from us um, and knew Ruth Asawa, this lady that we're learning about. Well, not necessarily knew her, but influenced what she learned and how she learned while she was there. Um, so she was there, like I said, in 1946, and she studied under John Albers and Bucky Fuller. Um, and John Albers was the man who kind of really shaped how uh, she got her start as an artist and her basic understanding of perception art and basic designs experimental art and design, which is something that he kind of really focused on and wanted to push Black Mountain College towards, um, which is really cool. Another interesting fact about Black Mountain College is they didn't award degrees. So students who went there did not get a degree. They didn't take required courses. You know, like most people think when you go to college, you're like, you've got the set plan, you gotta take this class, you gotta take that class. There, I mean, you learned what you wanted to learn. When you were there, if you're learning something, it's what you want to learn. And so they didn't require students to take classes, but they were required to, um, you know, participate in the school community, whether that's working on the farm, helping out a professor, you know, cleaning, whatever it was, you were expected to participate in the community. So it was more like, um, I don't want to say like a commune, but but like a little village. You could think of it that way, where they all helped each other, they learned from each other, they grew together, um, and it was a strong-knit community. Um, so another professor that was there while Ruth Asawa was, was Bucky Fuller. And he was the guy that brought the geodesic domes. So those structures that we've been working on and Jeff has been talking about, um, you know, with the, the sticks and the tension and all that cool stuff. He brought it there. And they constructed a dome, but it failed while they were at Black Mountain College. You know, they put it up, it didn't, it didn't work, and then they changed up their technique and figured it out. Ruth Asawa also discovered a new technique for wire while she was in Mexico. She went in 1947 and was with a craftsman in Mexico, and he was showing her how he makes egg baskets with looping wire. And so after experimenting with that a little bit, she discovered the technique she wanted to use in some of her pieces with her looping wire technique. So she kind of just took his idea, modified it, and made it work for her.